this is Prototype 9000. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my cement batteries. All you need is cement and uh, and uh, the radiator seal, which is a uh, sodium silicate. This has this has aluminum little aluminum bits, and I combined two different kinds. It has aluminum and copper bits, so it's running low on both. And you need a tube to put it in. And some wire, some wire. First, you need to strip, measure out some wire. It doesn't have to be exact science. Okay. Measure out some wire to the tubes. A little bit's gonna have to stick out the bottom and the top because you're gonna have to secure it. And measure it. Not, not very precise, but it'll do it. Two strands. It can, it can be copper wire. I mean, it can be copper tubing too. And you gotta strip it. Because it needs to make contact with the cement on the inside. Important thing is get the straight because you don't want it touching the inside. Get the straight by twisting and pulling on the wire. Flatten that. Okay, now I got this wire in here. Is this recording? Yep. Got this wire in here. And you want to secure it because you're going to pull on it to keep it straight while you're pouring a cement. Now, what makes a cement is for the sodium silicate or radiator seal or whatever form of sodium silicate you want to use. When you mix the cement, when you mix the cement, you want to, you want to, yeah, hold on, cement with a sodium silicate mixture. You want to, um, keep it the consistency of oatmeal so that you don't need to add any extra water because the sodium silicate is usually hydrated with water unless you get in dry form. And that, you know, and that's pretty much all you need to use is just this. Feel free to experiment with whatever you want. Don't get it too wet, cause then it'll run out the bottom of this hole, and, and the sides will end up touching there, and all that stuff. You don't want that. If you get it too wet, just add more cement. I'm using old cement. It was kind of getting a little chunky. I'm sitting there for a long time. And also, the more you mix the cement, the thicker it gets. If it's too wet, then it's going to take a really long time. Cap on that. Mind you, there's there's also uh, copper, little copper bits in there too. The aluminum, you can't really see it. You can see the aluminum that that is in the cement. It does help with the uh, uh, oh, I forgot what you call it. Yeah, it helps with the casmere effect that I'm looking for after the chemical activity in the cement. After three weeks, will stop. Yeah, you know, after three weeks, chemical activity stop the aluminum. Aluminum outside will stop corroding and copper will stop coating and that's when the real effects happen. If you can make it past that three week mark, most people 
seem to get stuck there and their batteries just stop working and, and that's the end of that but mine have been working well, my oldest one has been working for since August and it's it's almost February now so yeah or actually middle of July so now you want to take the cement out here and pack it in there it's just the right consistency like won't be oatmeal that's the way you want it just keep packing it down in there yeah that's it I haven't tried with any other cathode and anode materials except for copper and aluminum. That's all I got. So that's all I use. Let's see. I get that nice and straight. Pack more down in there. You don't want this, the anode touching the cathode or anything like that. That can be disastrous in your battery. Won't work too great. It'll still work. You might get half a volt. This'll probably this design right here will get me 1.7 volts. Now under load, under load it drops down to like like uh probably about 700 700 millivolts, about two or three milliamps. When it's not under load, and you're just measuring it, it's usually four or five. Four or five uh, milliamps at 1.7 volts. Sometimes I had one cell that got up to 2. Point, 2. Point, uh, 7 volts by itself. But that was not like the other ones. You want to pack this down in there, make level off the top, because you might want to treat it. You don't need to really treat it. This formulation. I pass ones. I'd use water then, and then treat it with sodium silicate. This seems to seal it just fine. You still can do it, treat it. You may want to, you may not. There you go, and you get a nice little pit in there for when you pour the sodium silicate in there to treat it if you want to. Yeah, the sun seems to have a charging effect on it. If you leave it in the dark, you only get maybe four or five hundred milliamps. Leave it in the sun, and it seems to stay right around 1.1 1. 1. 1 to 1.7 volts. Okay, that looks good. All I do is just take and stick it in the sun. And I'll stick it in these rocks right here and let it dry off. And when the water starts bleeding out the top, then that's when I'll add the sodium silicate to treat it. And that's that.